Good morning, brothers and sisters. Our presider for today is Father Marlon Reyes, SSS. Let us all stand. Lift up your hearts to the Lord in praise of His mercy. Sing out your joy to the Lord. His love is enduring, such a joy to the Lord all the earth, is the glory of His name. Be to God a wondrous world, how glorious His name. Lift up your hearts to the Lord, in praise of His mercy. love is enduring. We begin our thanksgiving in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The grace and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, let us lift up to God our thanksgiving for the blessing of this new day. And... Let us thank the Lord for the many blessings that we have received. Let us also lift up to God our prayers for ourselves, for our families, for our friends, and for all those who are asking for our prayers. Let us now acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. We humbly say, I confess to Almighty to God, God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, ever virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray, pray for, for me to, to the, the Lord, Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, Let us pray. O God, who are glorified in the Bishop Saint Martin, both by his life and death, make new, we pray, the wonders of your grace in our hearts, that neither death nor life may separate us from your love. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to Titus. Beloved, remind them to be under the control of magistrates and authorities, to be obedient, to be open to every good enterprise. They are to slander no one, to be peaceable, considerate,
exercising all graciousness toward everyone. For we ourselves were once foolish, disobedient, deluded, slaves to various desires and pleasures, living in malice and envy, hateful ourselves, and hating one another. But when the kindness and generous love of God our Savior appeared, not because of any righteous deeds we had done, but because of His mercy, He saved us through the bath of rebirth and renewal by the Holy Spirit, whom He richly poured out on us through Jesus Christ our Savior, so that we might be justified by His grace, and become his in hope of eternal life. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord is my shepherd. There is nothing I shall want. The Lord is my shepherd. There is nothing I shall want. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. In verdant pastures he gives me repose. Beside restful waters he leads me. He refreshes my soul. The Lord is my shepherd. There is nothing I shall want. He guides me in right paths for his name's sake. Even though I walk in the dark valley, I fear no evil. For you are at my side with your rod and your staff that give me courage. The Lord is my shepherd. There is nothing I shall want. Only goodness and kindness follow me all the days of my life, and I shall dwell in the house of the Lord for years to come. The Lord is my shepherd. There is nothing I shall want. Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. As Jesus continued his journey to Jerusalem, he traveled through Samaria and Galilee. As he was entering a village, ten lepers met him. They stood at a distance from him and raised their voice saying Jesus master have pity on us and when he saw them he said go show yourselves to the priests as they were going they were cleansed and one of them seeing that he had been healed returned glorifying God in a loud voice. And he fell at the feet of Jesus and thanked him. He was a Samaritan. Jesus said in reply, Ten were cleansed, were they not? Where are the other nine? Has none but this foreigner returned to give thanks to God? Then he said to him, Stand up, and go, your faith has saved you. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Good morning, brothers and sisters. And good morning also to our brothers and sisters who are participating with us in this Mass through our live streaming. Ang akala, ang akala ko po ay magbibisaya mas ako ngayong umaga. Na-challenge pa naman ako. Kasi kung ito ay bisaya mas, ito ay pang, pang tatlo ko pa lang na bisaya mas sana. 
hindi po ako taga Davao. Ako po ay galing sa pinakapayapang lugar dito sa Pilipinas, sa Tondo. <laughs> so, I arrived here last uh, July and I am now assigned in uh, uh, Our Lady of the Assumption uh, Parish. I am assistant pastor there. Um, it's nice to be back here. Kasi nung uh, 2003, first year ng aking pagiging seminarista, no, uh, there was one subject, I think it was uh, li uh, in liturgy sa aming klase, dinala kami dito ng aming teacher. Ginagawa pa po itong simbahan. So, now I am here uh, seeing your uh, beautiful church. It's good to be here. Um, anyway, there was this little boy. He gave a short, a very short letter to his mother. Sabi niya dun sa kanyang sulat, sa kanyang nanay, Dear Mama, This morning, I cleaned our veranda. That will cost you 20 pesos. After lunch, I wash the plates and utensils. That was worth 30 pesos. This afternoon, you ask me to buy some items in the grocery because the sun was hot and the store was far, I would charge you 50 pesos. 100 pesos is the total money you owe me. Your obedient son, Andres. Nakita nung nanay yung sulat. The mother saw the letter and the mother wrote back, Sabi ng nanay, My dear son, Andres, I carried you in my womb for nine months. I charge you nothing. I had a hard time giving birth to you that I almost died. I charge you nothing. When you were two years old, you got sick. I was not able to sleep for three days caring for you. But I did not charge you anything. All in all, you owe me nothing because I love you. Love, Mama. We can say that this little boy was ungrateful. He did not give thanks to his mother for everything that his mother did to him. But of course, it is just a story. But it can happen to us concretely. It can happen to me. It can happen to you. Maraming pagkakataon nakakalimot tayo na maging mapagpasalamat. There are many occasions in our lives that we forget to be grateful. In this particular gospel, I was struck with verse 15. Sabi doon sa verse 15, it says, And one of them, when he saw that he was healed, he returned with a loud voice, glorified God, and fell down on his face at his feet, giving him thanks. Out of ten lepers, only one returned. Only one returned to the source of blessing. And the story says that he saw that he was healed. Nakita niya na siya ay magaling na. 
you know, the reason why the other nine did not return. Bakit hindi sila bumalik? They did not return. Perhaps it is because they did not see yet that they were healed. They did not see yet how blessed they were. You know, the reason why the reason why we lack gratitude is because we do not see. We do not know how blessed we are. You know, if you want to grow in gratitude, you've got to stop and to see how blessed you are. The reason why we lack gratitude is because many times, or uh, so many times, we are so busy. We are so busy running after our ambitions, our dreams, our goals. There is nothing wrong running after goals. I do that also. I have so many dreams too. But my dear brothers and sisters, my dear friends, at certain point in your life, at certain point in your calendar, in your schedule, you got to have this moment where you stop to say thank you. When you see how blessed you are, you return to Jesus and kneel, giving Him thanks. Sa buhay po natin, we always have many duties to fulfill. But let us make sure, let us make sure that we don't sacrifice graciousness only because we have so much to do. We don't sacrifice graciousness only because we have so much problems. Make sure that we don't sacrifice graciousness only because we have so many things to accomplish. We have so many things to achieve. You know, people who are people who are ungrateful, ungrateful people always grumble. They always grumble. Remember this, my dear brothers and sisters, the basis of a happy life is a grateful heart. Ang batayan ng isang masayang buhay ay isang puso na marunong magpasalamat. And it's the same secret of the opposite. The secret of a miserable life is a grumbling spirit. Reklamo ng reklamo. Reklamo ng reklamo. So today, my dear brothers and sisters, instead of being busy or being burdened, counting your problems, instead of being busy, counting your fears, your anxieties, counting the days of this pandemic, let us instead see how blessed we are. See the blessings God has given you. Let us see how blessed we are. And like, like that one grateful leper, when we see that we are blessed, let us go back. Let us go back to the source of all blessings. And like that grateful leper, let us kneel with a grateful heart before Jesus. God bless you. Let us all stand. God gives so much grace, healing, pardon, but we take him for granted. We forget to thank him. Now let us bring our prayers to him in a spirit of gratitude. For every prayer we will say, in gratitude we call on you, Lord. In gratitude we call on you, Lord. 
that the church on earth may continue to heal broken lives in the power of the Holy Spirit, let us pray to the Lord. In gratitude, we call on you, Lord, that we may praise and thank God for the gifts of life, faith, health, happiness, and the warmth of the family, friends, and community. Let us pray to the Lord. In gratitude, we call on you, Lord, that we may always give thanks in every aspect of our lives for the love that God lavished on us by adopting us as his children. Let us pray to the Lord. In gratitude, we call on you, Lord, that the sick and those who find life burdensome may see God's special love and care through the concern of their families. Let us pray to the Lord. In gratitude, we call on you, Lord, that those who have died may join the saints in the worship in heaven, especially the soul of Rolando Fernandez. Let us pray to the Lord. In gratitude, we call on you, Lord. God, our Father, we thank you for our lives and the new life you have given us through Christ our Lord. Amen. That there may be breath, that there may be joy for Gratitude. Let this be our prayer, and may each child of earth long for a freedom that will flourish in our land. Simple is the truth that our love can. blessings we have known that there may be bread that there may be joy for all humanity to share with gratitude let us all stand Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. Sanctify these offerings, we pray, Lord God, which we joyfully present in honor of St. Martin, so that through them our life may always be directed, whether in tribulation or in prosperity. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord, for us on the festival of St. Martin, you bid your church rejoice. So too, you strengthen her by the example of his holy life, teach her by his words of preaching, and keep her safe in answer to his prayers. And so, with the company of angels and saints, we sing the hymn of your praise as without end we acclaim.
You are indeed the Holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. May holy therefore these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which shall be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim more than the Lord until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and the resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Romulo, our bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, Saint Martin, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. The Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, come thy, thy will be done, done on earth as it heaven. is in heaven. Give, give us, us this day our, day our daily bread, bread and forgive us our trespasses, our trespasses as, as we forgive, forgive those who trespass against us, against us and lead us not, not into temptation, temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. 
For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other a sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. the receiving of your body and blood, Lord Jesus Christ, and bring the judgment and condemnation. Your loving mercy be for me, protection in mind and body, and in keeping remedy. Brothers and sisters, behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. of spiritual communion my Jesus I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament I love you above all things and I desire to receive you into my soul since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally come at least spiritually into my heart I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you Never permit me to separate it from you. Amen.
Let us all stand. Let us pray. Grant to us who have been restored by this sacrament of unity, O Lord, perfect harmony with your will in all things, that just as St. Martin submitted himself entirely to you, so we too may glory in being truly yours. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Horatio Imperata, God our Father, we come to you in our need to ask your protection against the 2019 N coronavirus that has claimed lives and has affected many. We pray for your grace for the people tasked with studying the nature and cause of this virus and its disease and of stemming the tide of its transmission. Guide the hands and minds of medical experts that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion and of those governments and private agencies that must find cure and solution to this epidemic. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored in health soon. Grant us the grace to work for the good of all and to help those in need. Grant this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Mary, help of Christians. Pray for us. St. Raphael, the Archangel. Pray for us. St. Rock. Pray for us. St. Lorenzo Ruiz. Pray for us. St. Pedro Calongsod. Pray for us. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. May our loving God bless you all, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. Call and you console me how I long.